With the fall air turning crisp, there's no better time to curl up in front of a warm fireplace. It feels so good in the studio. Jonathan Kelly of the Fireplace and Barbecue Center joins us this morning to talk about the advantages of a gas fireplace. And first of all, I, I'm amazed that you were able to get this into our studio this morning. How easy is it to, to move this into a home? Well, if we come out to install one of these fireplaces here, our guys probably have it done in an hour and a half, maybe wow. three hours tops. Uh, so it's a dramatic transformation, you know, in less than three hours. So tell us about gas fireplaces and why the trend is going that direction for homeowners. Most people have done wood and it's just messy, it's dirty. You may have asthma, allergies, kids are, you know, allergic to it or whatever. Um, or the fireplace itself may, in, may be in bad shape. Mm -hmm. uh, chimney sweep may have come out and looked at it and said, your fireplace is really showing its age, uh, had a lot of stress over the years. You can't burn wood anymore because of a fire hazard. Mm -hmm. So then gas becomes a better alternative for that um, because it doesn't nearly put the same amount of stress on your chimney as a wood fire would. How much warmth does this put out? Sitting next to it, it feels amazing. Right, and we don't even have the fans on right now. Mm -hmm. So all the heat that you're feeling right now, and it is just baking this mm -hmm. side, right? But yeah. all that, that is just radiant heat, just gravitating into the room. And then if you turn the fans on, it'll start driving the heat several feet into the room. And more importantly, it starts to churn the air in the room around it. So if you kind of have hot and cold pockets in your room, this fireplace will use its fans to kind of churn the air in your room. Uh, talk about the cost of the fireplace and then the cost to run the fireplace. Well, this is the most efficient fireplace you have out there. Um, so this can be a three to five thousand dollar fireplace. Um, it's really good for people that are needing major repairs to their chimney. So if you have an issue with your chimney in bad shape, uh, you can run these fireplaces, put a new liner in there, and it may save you several thousands of dollars because the alternative to fix your wood fireplace would have been ten thousand dollars in some cases. So this three thousand dollar fireplace. Uh, you know, only burns about 40 cents an hour, and it's like adding a furnace to your house on that. But there's other options out there. So if you don't want to go the $3,000 route, they make ventless fireplaces that are, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Uh, they don't have the pipes or the fans or the blowers or anything, but you can set them inside your fireplace, and they are very efficient. They also burn less than 40 cents an hour as well on that. Um, and then they have vented fireplaces as well that are just your basic logs you set inside of there. Um, they can burn about a dollar an hour. Uh, they're more for just the, sh just the show. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a big, raging, roaring fire, but it's more just the show. Not much efficiency to that. It, but you can buy those for three, four, five, six hundred dollars. So one of the things that when people walk into our store, we have a sheet that we hand out because I've just thrown tons of numbers at you, mm -hmm. right? In like a minute or, or two. And it's hard for people to digest all that information. So we give them a sheet and we say, we have all three of these options for you. And one of them may be better for you than the other. It's not, we're not on, sal or not on commission, we're on salary. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make a difference to us which one we sell, but we just want to make sure that you know all your different options out there before you go and spend $3,000 mm -hmm. when really all you wanted was a $300 effect on that. And a lot of people have uh, heating problems on different floors. Like yeah. maybe upstairs it's really nice and toasty, but yep. the basement is cold. Is this an option for basements? Yeah, this is a perfect option. In fact, when people come in, that's one of the things our salespeople will do is say, you know, bring us a picture on your iPad or your iPhone mm -hmm. and show us your fireplace and what do you want to do with this fireplace? And if they say, yeah, it's kind of in a basement, you know, we say, well, you may gravitate towards this type of fireplace mm -hmm. because not only will it heat that area, but it'll start to heat the other rooms up above that area as well. And ultimately, you can save on your energy bills. Oh, absolutely. You would rather this burn, uh, in my opinion, you'd rather this burn at less than 40 cents an hour than your furnace, mm -hmm. trying to push heat to areas of your house that you don't need the heat to. Mm -hmm when you're just trying to heat that little area in front of the fireplace. And they're so beautiful, too. Fireplace yep. and Barbecue Center is located at 10470 Metcalf Avenue in Overland Park. Um, you can also find them online at uh, www.fireplacecenterkc.com. And you can call them at 913-383-2286. Thank you so much for being here. All right, okay. let's see when we need to turn on those fireplaces.